king What's a king to a guy? Welcome back, this is Big Ralph from Out of the Box Radio We are blessed to have the model Iva Nicole in front of us Iva, what are we doing here today? Why are we talking to you? Hey Ralph, well I'm here at the International Beauty Show at the Jacob Javits Center um, for She Hair Extensions um, for Jose Madison, the Vivisalon. He actually invited me over here and wanted me to be his model, so, which I've been modeling for him for about four years. I started after I graduated college, so. Yeah. No, I'm not being talking to you like I don't know you. I do know you, so let's be, um, I can be a little more relaxed with you. You have done quite a few things in the four years that you have been modeling. You've done yes. a few, done a few feature films. What film were you in again? Um, well, I was in um, Business is War, which was an independent film, but it was an HBO film festival, and only 35 films get picked. So that was um, a good film to be in. I had a really nice weekend. Um, and also, I did um, What's Your Number? In, um, Anna Ferris. Um, I actually had a um, bridesmaid um, role, so that was cool. Um, and right now, I'm actually in the, doing another independent film called Out of Boston, um, with also a professional model, Naomi Gamble, and um, it's called Make This, so stay tuned. Psycho Naomi? You're not playing her. You're not playing her. No, no me, no me. <laughs> oh, not Naomi Campbell. No, oh, no okay. me, the one that's with us here. Oh, okay, today. the good, the good no. All yeah, right, the good one. This Mongolia. Okay, <laughs> but you have a few other things. That, I mean, you also own. You're a business owner. Yeah, I mean, I do the production side. Um, as you all know, I was a backstage director for Couture Fashion Week here in New York City. I wore the Astoria. I also worked on um, LA All Star Weekend last year, and I did. I've been doing Miami Fashion Week for a couple years now. Um, and now, last year, I started my own store with um, Jimmy King, who is Vice President of Boutique Management, and also CEO of Straight Up Entertainment. And uh, we created exclusives for Music Meets Fashion, and we recently brought our two worlds together, as we say. And I know it's been going good. I also run a beauty pageant um, that's named Miss Central Massachusetts. It's a preliminary to Miss Massachusetts USA. Uh, my partner, Alita Diangana, uh, Miss Massachusetts 2011. Um, it's, a, it's our third year, and uh, basically the winner goes to Miss Massachusetts to represent um, Central Mass, which Central Mass is um, 60 towns that make up Central Mass. So, you know, other than being a model myself, I am in the business um, part of it. Uh, and it's just going great, you know, um, working really hard. And um, to stay updated, if any girls want to enter in the Massachusetts area, you could um, visit the website, the Central Massachusetts, um, Facebook, the Central Massachusetts, um, and Twitter, the Central Mass. And the same for exclusives, um, exclusives, music, and fashion on Facebook. And on Twitter, exclusive link. And um, yeah, I'm really honored to be here. Um, and like I said before, it's uh, been a long, hard four years of hard work. I'm not where I want to be, but um, I'm definitely working every single day um, to be at that level. Okay, now I'm going to ask you a question because we are out of the box. We have the name for reasons. A lot of times we ask people questions that's totally out of the box. So this is your question. What does it take to actually be a model? Because I've heard a lot of women tell me, I'm a model, a I'm lot. a model. You have to want it. It's like you have to want it, like a, you have to have a passion for it. Um, and not be just there because you want to be in the limelight. You have to actually want it like with everything you want, you know? It's, I don't know how to explain it really, I mean. Well, this, this is how I, I what I'm really asking is, because I have, uh, there are a lot of women that have come to me and told me that I'm a model or I'm, or I'm trying to become a model. just say it just to, you know, just say it. Um, but, you know, most models out there that are professional, that you know they're professionals, they know what to bring for a show, uh, they're ready, they have their comp card, they're assigned to an agency, they work with many photographers, they travel all around. 
And that what makes you a model, you know, your credentials, your resume, your photos, your portfolio, all that. Um, if you don't have that, then you won't be called a model because I want to be a model. So, so a girl having a couple of shots that her boyfriend took or she took in the bedroom in front of a mirror, that's not really a model. No, no, not at all. Actually, when you first start off, it takes a while. Like when I started, it, take, it took me like about a year and a half to build my name because most photographers don't want to work with amateur models or models that are starting unless you have like an incredible look or, you know, you're persistent, you know, you want it, you're networking, you're getting out of the scene, you're doing submissions, you know. You know, you have to invest in your career. And that's a huge part of the commitment, you know? Yeah. Now, that's an interesting question. Is there a difference between a model that you are or an urban model that does stuff for, let's say, Smooth Magazine? Is it is there a real difference in between um, the two? There's so many types of models. You know, you have your big sins, you have your tattoo um, models, hand models, feet models, plus size models. Um, it depends um, who you're working with, you know, because there's publications out there that just want people that are fully tattooed, you know, and they do tattoo conventions, uh, you know, plus size models. Really, you could be any type of model, but as long as you have the professional uh, industry credentials back in your walk, absolutely. You know, it doesn't make a difference if you're a Black Men's Magazine or both. Publication is a publication. But I was just curious the, when, when when it comes down, if you start off, well, like this, if you start off modeling in Smooth Magazine, and then you do some music videos and you do it with like say Straight Sutton, do you get pigeonholed in just that particular type of category? Is it is it possible it for you to trans? How you carry yourself. Mm -hmm. You need to know. Excuse me. Um, you need to know what you want to do. You know. Um, I mean, it depends. Uh, me personally, I don't do music videos. Um, that's just not the way I want to develop. But you know, people that are urban modeling, yeah, of course, you know, it pays you. It depends what route you want to go. Everyone's different, you know. I have a different vision. Um, I'm trying to brand, so I'm trying to be a brand. So I'm looking at it from a really different perspective. I'm not just doing it just to, you know, have a few, you know, here and there. I'm doing it because this is what I want to do. And I want to make a product for my life. So make sure you make Somebody working with this one too. All right. All right. Well, I would thank you very much. Yes. And good, good luck. Thing. Good. good thing. Thank you.